your first contestant to go home tonight. I was a bit traumatized by the fact that it's the first week, the first person to be on eviction. We all came in with the mentality, Milioni Tano Niangu. Niangu na Niangu. I really don't care about trying to form a strategic relationship with contestants in terms of trying to win the five million. Personal relationships will be make or break for the season. You see, we go through life and sometimes we tell you never burn bridges. It starts now. When you're forced to do a task with people who are self-minded, yeah, 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 it becomes hard. Maybe we don't agree on the same things, but we don't know where this journey will find us in 10 years, in 15 years. If I don't like you, there is nothing still I can do, but we have to work together at the end of the day and make the thing work. Before you get to me against you, it is us against them. With everything that has gone on, both good and bad, the main thing is to learn as much as possible. Don't let any week find you the person you were last week. There is more to this than just winning. There's a kid out there who needs to see what I go through and tell themselves, you know what, if my kid did it, I can do it. Welcome to Blaze, Be Your Own Boss, The Great Edition. This is the show that brings together 12 of Kenya's brightest young entrepreneurs. Each week, we will test them and we will watch as they develop their own business working together with some of Kenya's biggest brands. They will hope to win a package of 5 million Kenya shillings for their businesses and ultimately become the last boss standing. Assessing their progress will be our three judges. Music mogul, King Kaka. Media queen, Caroline Mutoko. And retail and advertising star, Trusha Ketia. Welcome, Angela Washira and Wycliffe Moga, of Twigger Foods. Good morning, contestants. Good morning. My name is Angela. I am the communications officer for Twigger Foods Limited. My name is Wycliffe Muga, the regional sales manager. Twigger Foods is a food distribution company that deals with fresh fruits and vegetables. We realized that there was a problem in the market, making it fragile and very costly. As such, Twigger uses a single platform that brings together mobile technology, a network of food producers, vehicles and warehouses. Contestants, would you please choose your team leaders? In a further challenge this week, the teams will have to choose team leaders without knowing what the challenge is. Can they guess who will be the best leader for this task? Ladies, your team leader. I don't know much about food and vegetables, however I know much about pricing. And I think I was picked as team leader because of my expertise in marketing and PR and branding. Gentlemen? I feel like this is the right moment for me because uh, I'm also in this field. So it was a little bit easier for me to uh, pick up the task. First, you will produce two juices, one from vegetables and another from fruits. The second uh, challenge will be you identify vendors, three from each team, then you go out and try to convince them to buy your produce. The third challenge will be you go set up a stall and invite passerby or consumers to come and test your produce. We will provide you with 30,000 shillings to buy your raw material. The team that makes the most profit will be the winner. Good luck and may you be the last boss standing. We chose the team leader before we had what the challenge was about. If it was the other way around, we'd probably have gone with Malkia. I feel like this is really tailored to actually suit my business skills. The SEAL team is full of brilliant minds. They're not limited to our ideas. We can think. 
for this week's challenge, our teams will have to create two new juice flavors. One fruit-based, one vegetable-based. They will have to test them amongst consumers, work out a price, and ultimately sell them at a range of dukas. The team who makes the most profit wins. At Twiga, we value quality. With our supply chain, we ensure that our quality is closely monitored to ensure that we deliver the best products. So for the contestants, we expect that they should deliver quality produce packaged properly and safely. So if they go and present and say that they are part of Twigam, they need to be extremely professional. And even as they are trying to drive the sales, they need to consider the vendor. The team leader has divided us, uh, guess, has given us roles which we are supposed to take them seriously. One, we're supposed to do the market research. We need to know what the consumer really wants. Okay. And that entails research. And that research should be done at uh, you know, the consumer level and the retail level. As guys who are in charge of research, we are supposed to move faster so that we get to the answers we need before we do a sample and we take it to those guys in charge of the SMEs. We've talked also to the chef and uh, we have been given suggestions. Which uh, fruit juice do you think that most people will go for? The content is that which are uh, pineapple, tree, tomato, passion fruit and watermelon. So the guys talk about researching consumers but are asking their hired chef. The task is complete. It's crunch time as we head to studio to get the verdict of judges Kaka, Caroline, and Trusha. Good evening and welcome to episode two of Blaze Be Your Own Boss by Safaricom. Ladies, nice to see you. However, I must say the gentlemen look great in bright colors. Now, our mentor for this week's challenge, Caleb Karuga, cannot join us tonight. However, as judges, we had a very detailed meeting with him. And it is based on those details and what we hear tonight that we'll be making our decisions. The very best to each and every one of you tonight. Brian, yep. do you feel like you delivered uh, 100%? Yes, I did. Uh, in terms of trying to give direction to the team and also, you know, lining uh, what exactly needs to be done at what time. I delivered the sentiment. So we decided to hire a chef who is very experienced in terms of making juices so that he can guide us and give us, you know, uh, what tastes uh, the consumers could prefer. So at first, we, we settled on making uh, carrot juice with celery. Uh, and in terms of fruit juice, we settled in making uh, cocktail juice and pineapple with mint juice. So the following day, we go to the market and actually try to get what the consumers want. So one second. Already, I think that start is wrong. Do you first give the medicine or do you or understand do you the problem the, the patient has? You go to the ground first and ask. Or do you go with antibiotics and injection when this person has malaria? The chef that we had, he is a professional in this field. So we went with his advice. Uh, that's because we were tied within the two juices the pineapple mint and the cocktail. What were your juices? I know they had cocktail and um, pineapple, pineapple and mint and carrot and celery. One of the catches in the, in the challenge was value addition. You have mango juice. Nutritionally, beetroot, beetroot has nutrition. So just to add value to the mango juice, we did mango and beetroot. Now carrots, very nutritious, but when blending carrots, there is the remains that are also nutritious. So I had to find a way of using all the nutrients from carrots. Now pineapple is naturally sweet, but light. You can't make a thick juice out of pineapple. Now the remainings from carrots add the, the smoothness and the add thickness to pineapple and give it a very unique taste. Hence, adding value to the carrot juice. This season's all about grit. Greatness requires internal toughness. I want you to describe who showed the most resilience. I'll definitely go with Malkia, because she was the one handling most of the, most of the production work. Me and Monica, we were just assisting, peeling, but she was the one, basically, the rock of the juices we were making. So, who showed the most resilience? And I will go for uh, Mr. Rono, uh, in the fact that uh, when we set out, uh, we settled out on our place, you know, the place that we'd given, he showed more resilience in the fact that he brought in more customers 
and the fact that he tried to sell our juice uh, not only as a brand of drinking, but the health benefit that the juices could bring to the consumer when you took the juice. When I started, I did say that we'd had a very detailed brief with your mentor. Your juice was prepared four hours early. In fact, you started before you were meant to start, correct? Yes. Whose decision was it to break the rules and start juice production early? Uh, when we sat down with the chef and uh, advised us the kind of juice that we could produce, so we decided to go to the market so that we could produce these samples so that the next day when we go to the challenge, we could have some samples that our customers can be able to taste uh, and actually give the us the... The rules for BYOB challenges are not implied, they are clear. Day one is planning and strategy. Day two is execution. You jumped the gun. Whose decision was that? I think we were all, we were all tense and we were all, we were all anxious. And so we, we all wanted to produce something as quick as possible and so that by the next day, we can start having results. Who decided we don't need refrigeration? Because you did have refrigeration. We had the fridge there, we had the cooler there. But um, I think the people who were serving the juice did not, did not take the juice and put it back in the cooler. As a result of that, the juice fermented. So, TK, let's, let's know what our yes. results are. After all those words, after all those excuses, it comes down to results. Seal team. Your sales were 28,480 fit stops. Your sales were 21,050. So gentlemen, your profit was 8,780 with a margin of 30%. Ladies, your real profit was 9,650 with a margin of 45%. Congratulations, you guys have won this week's challenge. Well done. You thought it through. And what are they getting for that, Carol? Spa. Um, I hear that you spa guys are off to a spa. And a you spa. Look at them, and you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Go on and celebrate. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Team Seal, please step forward. Team Leader, step forward. And as you do that, kindly nominate two of your team members who will be up for eviction. Number one, I will nominate Kwame. And number two, I will nominate Kevin Karanja. Uh, why did you nominate him and, and why did you nominate Kwame? Uh, for Kevin, I'll say uh, he's a bit rigid in terms of when he gives ideas, uh, he feels like they have to be considered. And if they're not considered, uh, he gets furious. He, you know, and that, I felt like, derails the team behind in terms of making decisions. Kwame, I feel uh, he, he didn't step up in the fact that uh, in terms of making decisions for the team, he was a bit of in the, in the, in the fence rather than being straightforward and trying to make a decision in case it goes wrong, you can't be able to account for it. Kwame, why do you think you lost this task? I think we lost this task because of our leader. But when it comes to leadership, he was not aggressive. For example, the, the whole situation of, um, of the juice fermenting. We had made the juice, yes. We had gotten the fridge, yes. But we asked him specifically to get the ice. So we asked if we can get the ice, but he chose not to simply because he decided to say, let's save our, let's save our money. Karanja, Apart why did we lose this task? Uh, I believe we lost this task because of our leader too. Some of the decisions he was making were a bit abrupt. Like in, at one point, he was supposed to make deliveries and he was requested to carry 15 liters. He decided to carry 10, give us an extra bottle of five liters of juice that we had no idea where to take it to. So, if I'm on the delivery team and I have no client on order of where I'm going to take this juice to, what am I supposed to do with it? Both of them want you gone. So Brian, why should we keep you here? Uh, first, I think I uh, should stay in this show because uh, I showed great leadership from my part. I believe that uh, in terms of uh, setting the objective of the task and trying to align both members for the task, uh, to keep them on vision for this task. I did that as a team. Kwame, why should you stay? I believe I should stay because I'm constantly learning. Apart from that, I'm a hard worker. 
Um, during the challenge, I spent, I, I was one who was basically blending most of the juice. You just mentioned that you're blending juice. Yeah. Did chef you have an expert? We, <laughs> um, we had gotten the chef, but I believe that the whole point of the chef was to give us advice. So we paid for the, we paid for the, chef, for the chef, yes. But then most of the juice I was blending. Karanja, why should you stay? Uh, I showed grit. I showed my toughness. I brought in customers. I brought in orders. I delivered. And to add, to add on that, I was making decisions that were being at one point ignored. I had a brilliant idea of actually using promotion on Facebook to bring in customers because we had a certain target. Students from a nearby university and a nearby hostel, we could have used that to bring in more customers. Why don't you please um, allow us to make a decision? Thank you. Please step out. You heard the arguments. It's time for the judge's decision. There was no wow in the person you hired to advise you on the juices. Pineapple mint, every restaurant in Nairobi and beyond has it. As for cocktail, it is the mashakura of juices. I mean, you wasted your money there. I'm sorry. While you were focused on profit and the challenge, Fitstops were actually focused on providing a great product and service. And I need to say this categorically. They lost last week purely because of their group dynamics. They had the more sustainable and more business savvy ideas, even for the Matatu. They lost on group dynamics. They picked themselves up and got back to the business. So actually, strategically, Fitstops are better than you guys. Last week you won because they were disorganized, not because you won. That said, however, things don't go wrong. They start wrong. And they start with leadership. I'm okay. Yeah. It's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you very much. However, that said, you're not going home empty-handed. You'll get 50,000 shillings in cash and 50,000 in business support from Blaze by Safaricom. Feeding the people poison Even your organs may hear them myself What happened to my people? Why you can't even